And I'm Bill Rogers, and I am a filmmaker and teacher. And I'm here because somebody took a journey. And I think that journeys uh, bring us to where we find ourselves. A couple of the projects that I've, I've worked on, lots of projects, hundreds of projects. And this is a journey that I took when I was fresh out of college. I'm the dude in the yellow rain slicker and welding goggles. And on the far left is a toolkit for uh, to, to relive Zen in the art of motorcycle maintenance, which I think was my, uh, which was, which was motivating me. And like so many of us looking for something on this trip. And I think what, what makes a trip a journey? When do trips become journeys? How many of you were scheduled for a business trip when this, uh, when this pandemic came down? And has that, has that transition from those trips and you going into some room somewhere for those of you who like me had to find a, a new office space, has that really changed those, those trips into a new kind of, a new kind of journey? And what happened to me uh, recently, this past couple of years, as a teacher was that um, I ran into some students and they uh, had been working with the ESOL teacher and they were telling their stories through, uh, through narratives through simple narratives about going from here to there or there to here about coming to New Hampshire from those many places. And I found in their stories just, uh, it was, you know, they, they were uh, all over the map in terms of the, the quality of them, but that didn't matter. They were these stories of what happened to them in making that trip. And that's what I find absolutely um, uh, riveting. Um, this student is Aziz Gadera, and he uh, just won an award in the New Hampshire Short Film Festival. Uh, he called it the Dark Mode, and he uh, this it was distinguished because he made it entirely in his room. Um, and uh, terrific film you can see on YouTube. I found in Aziz, really, this this quality of how journeys can change us how they can take us to this new place. And I think that relates to you and uh, perhaps your triple bottom line, how we can go from um, concerned with survival, just how are we going to get through this? How are we going to keep our companies going to the lifeblood of who we are and what we are, which is the, the people we take along with us in those journeys, the people we intersect with and how uh, really our journeys become part of other people's stories. And that's what I found really unshakable in, uh, in these, these student narratives. And one of the things that I've always loved doing as a teacher is finding a way to put cameras into the hands of students literally giving them a, a, a camera. And these days, when I started doing this, cameras were not as cheap as they are now, although a $1,000 cell phone is not cheap, but everybody has them. They have that technology in their hands. So by giving them that technology for capturing the superficial things, they can capture the things that might mean a little bit more. And I think one of those things that might mean a little bit more is the trips we've taken, the borders we've crossed, Summersworth is a border town, Maine on the one side of the river. Uh, and in that, in that, that, that uh, real and metaphorical border from place to place, I think is a, a powerful way for all of us to tap the stories of others that can realize our own stories. Um, I've also been obsessed with time and I think when we look at our own stories, those 
uh, and look at our own journeys when we've we've crossed a certain certain border something's happened to us it's made us look at time in a different way uh, I worked one of the projects I worked on was on Bodie Miller the ski racer and I was fishing for this idea of of time in it and Bodie's uncle Mike said uh, there's two kinds of time there's Kronos, the seconds that tick by, and there's Kairos, that uh, moment when time slips away. What a time we had back then. And I think on stories, we get this sort of collapse of time. Um, we get a way of looking at character and how character shapes us. And I think that's the equivalent of the journeys we took when the difference between a trip and a journey is its significance, is, is the arc that it takes. So, um, that's what I've learned in the hundreds of stories that I've told. Who cares? So what? I think you do because of that triple bottom line, because we are not just surviving, as we heard earlier, but it's also about connecting us one to another. And I think stories and journeys are a powerful way to do that. So in the breakout session, uh, talk about um, how have what kind of journeys are you on as uh, somebody who might be uh, um, responsible for moving something forward in your company? What kind of journeys have you seen in the people that come to you, both customers as well as the people who uh, make your place run? And how have those, that sense of character, the sense of the people who, who make your place go and the journeys they have taken, how have they, how have they uh, collided in the place that you're trying to build. So that's my story. <laughs>